Hello Transformers fans and welcome to the video review of Transformers Armada Mega Class Tidal Wave. Here we have Tidal Wave in his Dark Fleet mode, which is essentially uh, his body kind of broken up into three different boats. Um, for starters, we have an aircraft carrier. Uh, this aircraft carrier rolls, alright, you know, and it uh, it's very well detailed, I must say. Uh, as you can see, he's got that big, nice, molded Decepticon symbol on there, which eh, kind of has some lining up issues. Uh, it's got some nice orange and black paint on there, and it's very well detailed. A lot of a lot of molded detail in there, runways and things. And even the command bridge, as you can see, no paint on it. It's got this orange plastic minicon port. But it's very well detailed. It's got a lot there, including a screw. Um, each of the three boats has its own gimmick. Gimmick in this one is that it can hide his Minicon inside here. As you can see, you just push this up. And then we've got Ramjet. I don't know why I grabbed that. This is his little Minicon Ramjet. It just kind of folds up to fit in there. And there he is. He's a, oops, it's a nice little uh, airplane. We'll get to him later, though. Um, you could try to fit another Minicon in there. It won't work. It's very specifically only for Ramjet. But it's even got paint in it. It's very well made. Very well detailed still. And that's what you get on figures this size. It's a lot of molded detail. Um, and that's pretty much all we have for this ship. The next one is what I believe is a battleship. It rolls not very well, mostly because these are on hinges and the wheels are underneath. But when it comes to detailing, it's amazing. Um, there's a lot of really nice paint apps on this too. This orange up here, the silver on the turrets, which as you see on mine is a little worn in some places, but it's old. Um, it's also got its own molded Decepticon symbol in there, just in case you weren't aware. It's got these turrets that move. Uh, they go up and down, and there's this big clicky noise. That's because these are actually all in gears, and that is part of this ship's gimmick, where we take the Minicon, plug it in, and then when you slide it, it's got some moving turrets, which is nice. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the Armada line, that's why Minicons have the little pin in the middle. See that? See it's orange in there? It's a button. It moves the gears. Um, he would also have missiles in this in this ship, but uh, I don't have them. And I mean, all I have on me right now is a is a push missile anyway. So if you can, there you go. <laughs> you just kind of push it against the sp the spring works fine. I just don't have the missile. Um, but yeah, he's got some nice silver paint on there, and that's actually painted. It like fades from a deep bronze into this green. And he's got a, he's actually, sorry, I was kind of yawning there for a second. Um, he's got some nice molded detail under here. He's got these big clips for, um, this figure combines with the leader class Megatron, who I don't have, but I would like if anyone's got one lying around. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, not really. Uh, as you can see, he's got a very nice molded bridge. This one does have some paint on it right there on the windows. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, it's a cool ship, but focus. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's a little weird shape-wise with these two hulls. It's kind of got that, uh, what do I call Catamarans, I think? Something like that? But yeah, it doesn't go very well, but it looks great. And finally, we have the landing ship, what I believe this is. So it's very big. This one probably has the coolest paint. Um, this is all painted right here, this nice bronzy gold, black paint, more gold paint, uh, yeah, that's gold there, and this is orange, um, I don't see how, yeah, okay, you can't see it pretty well, um, more gold paint, it's got the gold, gold, it, yeah, it's bronze, and it fades into the gray plastic really nicely here, and it's got the silver that fades into the purple, another molded Decepticon symbol, just in case you forgot. Um, really nice molded detail on this guy. Air vents, these rockets, or whatever they are, torpedoes, I guess, maybe, because 
Maybe they go like that. I don't know. These wings are weird. But even on the back, it looks nice. It's got these rocket thrusters and everything. It's kind of got some hips there. Um, actually, no, these are these knees, not the hips. Um, but it, like, it works for this. Uh, the gimmick for this ship, let me get my camera out a little bit, is that it uh, is a carrier, whereas it kind of fold these out a little bit. You don't have to, it just makes it easier. And you fold these out, and it's got these little chairs kind of in here. And you fold them out. And he's got two more on the other side. I'll just fold out one more. This one. Well, this one. And if you see, he's got more deep molding in here. These chairs. And they fit minicons. If we take one minicon, uh, two minicons. Don't fall, though. And uh, come on. We got a third one right here, and then, yeah, let's just let's take one more and stick them in there as a vehicle. And they, you know, there's, there's nothing holding them in place. It's a slide, yay. You know, you can have them drive off of it like that. And, you know, it's, it's nice to play with um, if you have a lot of minicons, which I kind of do. I have a lot of minicons. I love minicons. Um, can't get enough of them. They're awesome. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's it for that. Then these move, I guess, if you want to make stuff. Whatever. Um, technically it's a flight mode, if you do it like that. And then I guess it's a spaceship that kind of looks like a manta ray. Don't fall background. Don't fall. Um, he's also got paint on his bridge, right there. And that one, I think it's supposed to, I don't know, it's just got some lines. I'm not sure what it is. But again, very nice. Um, focus camera, focus. You were doing so good the other day. So we have the three together. Um, speaking of together, these do combine into one big ship mode. Um, what we do is take that, open that up just like that. Take this robot crotch right there. Now it looks like a crab. That's kind of funny. Um, went from being a manta ray to a crab. Then take this and just rip it in half. And until you've ripped an aircraft carrier in half, you haven't lived. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this big spring-loaded clippy thing and this big uh, blocky thing, which has a spring in it too, because it turns. It's ratcheted. That didn't turn. But uh, stick that in there. Bend that out. We'll do the same thing on this side. Bend that out. And then these are only big double hinges in here. As you can see, it's kind of dark, but... There we go. Get that just like that. Get that in, and then put the aircraft carrier back together. Like so. And that could be a thing all on its own. You know, you could take this and stick it on the end and have it be a thing on it all on its own. But basically the way this is going to attach. Clip. Big space. And these two little thingies right here. They actually... I don't think they have to be in this particular position. I don't know. Let's, I think you can turn it over and do it the other way. Maybe you can't. Nope. Look, you can. Okay, so it doesn't make a difference. Really. But it should be this way. And you'll see why in the robot mode. Or basically it's screws, no screws. And this ends up being the front of it. And then you're done. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're going to take this. And as you can see, there's this notch and this clip right here. I'm just going to clip on to here and the notch. It's going to go right here. So this is, you basically just kind of work with it until it goes in. Maybe that doesn't attach to that thing. Oh, whatever. It clips on, anyway. Just like so. If I can get it. There we go. And that is the big ship mode. Um, still has all the gimmicks. You can you kind of have to move this out of the way, but it will still open, and you can still put stuff in it. Um, he's still got his, his uh, little cannons, which I, th I think it looks better in this mode anyway. And then you still, it's kind of tricky to get it, you just gotta, my thumbs are kind of big, so you can still get at that, and you can 
put the Minicon right in there. Like so. Come on. Is it? Oh, it's not working. It. I dropped him. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. I went ahead and just put him back in there. I got him okay and everything. But, um, yeah, so this is the big mode, and it rolls. Okay, I guess. It's very loud. Um, and then it technically has a interstellar mode, too, where you fold down these wings, and he can fly through space now, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a spaceship mode now. And it's it's quite hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. I'm not sure exactly how much this weighs. Maybe I should do that. Should I do that? Actually, like, try to weigh these things for videos? I don't know. Um, tell me. Tell me in the comments. But, uh, because no one really does that. So, size comparison, vehicle mode. Let's compare him to Deluxe Class Armada Optimus Prime. As you can see, Optimus Prime is very little. Tidal Wave is very big. Ooh, my, my light moved. Um, He's quite, quite long in this mode. I'm not even going to bother fixing it.
So you can dance. Or you can do a flying high kick. You know, but other than that, you're not really getting that much posing out of this guy. Which is okay, I guess. Because, I mean, if you've seen Armada, the TV series, it, it doesn't really do a whole lot. He just kind of stands there and goes, shock, or not shockwave. Well, sometimes he says that. But tidal wave and shoot stuff. Um, yeah, which, you know, it's, like, he pretty much just kind of stands there and and things explode around him. I'll lower my camera just a bit. So we can get him in the, in the whole, his whole body in the shot. So, there we have him. Um, he maintains pretty much all his gimmicks. The missiles would be kind of useless in this mode, as they're basically just kind of, they'd be kind of sticking out of his armpits. Just kind of weird, but whatever. And you can't even get to the button anyway, because the button is... Where is the button? Button, button, who's got the button? The button's, yeah, the button's literally in his armpit. There is a divot just for the button um, right here so you cannot fire those missiles at all um, it would almost be kind of funny if like as you were transforming it it just they went off which is probably what happened the first time they did it in the design process like oh we should uh, we should have uh, cut those out um, <laughs> but yeah he still can hold his minicon ramjet in his arm, which is kind of cool. It's like a, it's like he's a falconry dude, you know. Have his little bird show up on his arm and then go in his arm, because you know that's what falconry people do. Uh, speaking of ramjet, I might as well show you his transformation, which is even easier than tidal waves. You basically just kind of take the wings, hold them back, take that, fold them back, fold down his legs. Come on, light. Fix my light. There we go. Fold those legs out. Little feet. His leg, I guess. And that is Ramjet. He is a little tiny totem pole. That actually kind of... Oh, come on, camera. Focus. Focus, boy. There we go. He kind of, from the front, almost has the appearance of Ramjet with the cone head. But he doesn't. His face actually looks like Soundwave. But, yeah. He's a stick that turns into an airplane. And he's quite silly looking. But I guess it kind of works with Tidal Wave. And he's also the teeny tiniest Minicon I've ever seen. Eh, way down there. Like, I could stick him, let's see, next to one, two, three others. This is the th same three we saw in the carrier. And he's, he's so tiny. And he, he's like one of the biggest Armada figures to come out. He's got a tiny little minicon, which I think is hilarious. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that, you know, and, uh, speaking of hilarity, we get the Minicon gimmick that still functions. If you recall, makes his boat turrets move. Well, in robot mode, it's less of a turret, turret rotation as it is, well, packs of power. Tidal wave has pecs of power, which is hilarious in my opinion. Look at this, it's like, yeah, hello. Mm -hmm. It's like the rock, you know, like, can you do this? <laughs> it's just, I don't think they thought that through very well. But like, it's just, it's so funny. He's, and he's even got these little, like, he's, he's got nipples. He's got nips, right there. It just, oh my god, it's hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, would I suggest picking this guy up, if you get the chance? 
Um, yeah, definitely. You know what? If you can find them for a decent price, go ahead, pick them up. Um, I think Tidal Wave is worth it. I think his character is cool. I think his toy is also cool. Uh, you know, this has been my review. And, uh, I'm gonna sign out.